Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spartan Brawl. Hope you're having a decent day. As always, I'm joined by my co-host, Sam, and we're back with another Iran brief. So, Sam, tell us, Iran has a new president now. What's the latest with the nuclear deal? Sure. There were some quick updates that I thought we could share with our viewers. Uh, so, uh, basically, Iran has had this temporary deal with IAEA, the nuclear agency, the International Nuclear Agency, in place, in which there are the activities are still being recorded by video cameras and uh, being, I guess, being uh, maybe blocked or of some kind, uh, but they are not being handed over to the agency for now. And this deal, I think, already has been renewed at least once, extended at least once. And uh, this deal, deal just ran out about three days ago. A week before it ran out, IAEA apparently had contacted Iran uh, through a letter asking for an extension because it had become clear that the nuclear talks are not going to end before the deadline for this deal. Iran hasn't responded yet. And two days ago, Iranian uh, spokesperson Khatib Zadeh um, came out and said that Iran is not obliged to respond or is not obliged to extend the deal. So they have to wait. Uh, on the other hand, increasingly, at least in terms of rhetoric, Europeans and Americans have taken a harder stance. They have said that Iran needs to make difficult decisions. And uh, Blinken has uh, even said that even one uh, one. Um, Obstacle could lead to uh, could lead to uh, could lead to a lack of return of U.S. to the deal because it's just such a weird situation we are in. I don't know how to characterize because right now we are not in any deal. We are just they are just negotiating a way back for the U.S. to the deal and for Iran to reduce its commitments, certain commitments. Uh, so uh, they are you know toughening the rhetoric there. At the same time, though, there are uh, rumors, there are reports that U.S. Uh, Biden administration is uh, going to remove sanctions from Supreme Leader's office. Supreme Leader's office is a major office in Iran, office of the most important person, but also it's a big economic powerhouse. It employs more than 30,000 people. So... Uh, there are reports that it's going to this week those sanctions are going to be removed. The sanctions that were put on uh, uh, on the Supreme Leader's office during Trump era due to the bringing down the U.S. drone in southern shores of Iran. So it's uh, a while. I mean, we, we, I mean, whoever has watched our reporting or anybody else's reporting on this matter, any, I think which reporting on this matter can tell that uh, what we see is uh, uh, a cycle. What we see is the cycle that, you know, they keep toughening up and then they keep uh, being more uh, relaxed in the negotiations and more conciliatory in the negotiations. Uh, I think in the end, we're going to have a deal, but they're probably going to wait for the new Iranian president to take office in August and uh, then they're going to make that deal. And till then, we're going to see more uh, reports just like this, that some days that, oh, we are about to make a deal, and then some other days, no, uh, we are not about to make a deal. Because just after Iran said that it is not obliged to extend the deal with IAEA, then you had a uh, uh, Russian... Uh, 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 Russian um, one of Russian officials uh, saying that they are very hopeful that Iran will extend the deal. Uh, so who knows, you know, it's a very strange one. Yeah, you're so right. This up and down, up and down on this. But you said two things. One, I wanted to ask you. So the Iranians don't want to return back to the original deal. They actually want some of the nuclear commitments to be reduced. No, they want no. They want the U.S. to come back to the deal. Then they uh, then they check that U.S. has actually like they say this time around. We want to check to see if 
the removal of sanctions Sanction, actually okay. happens because last time even yeah. before Trump came into power, there were issues. And then we reduce our uh, activities to the levels that was yeah. uh, described in Barjam, which is kind of pointless because according to the timeline of Barjam, by the time Iran does all of that, Iran does not need to meet those obligations anymore, basically. Okay. You know, I get it. Like so, by that, like because it, there, there are all these sunset clause, so to speak, yeah. to the deal that run out after 10, 15 years. I get so, it. So Iran kind of wants to go back to whatever commitments they had promised under the deal originally. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Wants to well, but the after US removes the sanctions. Um, but what's the bad drum thing that you mentioned? That's the what's that the name? Oh, of? that's the Iran deal. Sorry, I bad drum is the Iranian acronym for. JCPOA. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. And then you also sorry so removing that. those sanctions on the Supreme Leader's office. That, that's a relatively big deal. No, if that happens. That's a huge deal. Yeah. yeah. That's a huge. I mean, uh, huge. I don't know. But it's a big deal. Yeah. Sorry. It's a big deal. But, 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 but that's what I mean about uh, contradictory reports. Yeah. And co- reports tend to contradict rhetoric and all that at the moment. No, hundred percent brilliant. Okay, anything else? But I would say, yeah. at uh, uh, Trito Parsi debuted on Breaking Points, the great show by uh, Crystal Ball and Sagar and Jedi, and I think he made a great point, which is uh, to very sh- to make it very briefly, is that although, uh, okay, we might reach a deal and it may last for a couple of years or until the Biden's administration or next administration. But unless the regional issues and the, the underlying issues between Iran and US are not at rest, uh, like the missile programs, the interference in the region by US or by Iran, who, whatever way you want to look at it, uh, until that uh, sort of those issues are settled, it's the, the, this is going to continue. Like, you could argue that the, the problems between Iran and US really started four or five years before the Iranian revolution. And, you know, so, yeah, I think unless the underlying issues are resolved, which I don't think they will be, uh, I think, yeah, this is gonna, it's going to remain a content, content, contentious relationship, to say the least. 100%, 100%, okay. Definitely a conversation we need to continue some other time. I guess, anything else to add? Um, no, thank you for watching and thank you uh, for keeping up. Yep, and comment and uh, yeah, any criticism would be welcomed, obviously. Please, yes, please do so. But if not, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.